What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Now in this video I'm going to be upgrading my router table. So in a previous video I built a router table out of a single sheet of birch ploy. Extremely cost effective and strong router table. I know a bunch of you guys have copied the design and built your own one which is absolutely fantastic. That was the whole point to get you guys a router table that only costs the price of a single sheet of plywood. So in this video I'm going to upgrade it. I've been sent a few parts. I'm going to show you them to take you through them and uh, yeah let's upgrade our router table. So this is the particular router table in question. Again, I built it from a single sheet of three quarter inch birch ploy. So the design remit was to get a nice, strong, cost-effective router table that you could make from a single sheet of plywood and that would be a good servant and that's exactly what this is it's extremely strong it's well made the fence works great a couple of four by twos for legs screwed it to the wall it works perfect i designed it to work with the dual mode plunge router the triton router and like i say it's been a good servant to me now over the last year it hasn't let me down and has done everything i've asked for it so again for a price of a single sheet of plywood you can build yourself a router table now in this video we're going to be installing a router lift and a new type router that I want to show you. So without further ado, let's jump in. Now I'm organizing this side of the shop, so all this stuff is going to be gone out of here eventually. And this is my new spot for my router table. It was over there, I moved it over here, but uh, that's kind of besides the point. So let's upgrade this now. Let's do it. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're going to be installing today. Now, full disclosure, I was sent these products. I did not pay for them myself, so I was going to let you guys know that. So, Souter Germany contacted me. There's a guy there by the name of Andy. He's from England. Souter have set up a new um, English language website. They're looking to spread into Europe, the UK, and Ireland. And uh, like I said, Andy was a big fan of my videos. He contacted me and said, look, we'd love to send you some stuff to try out. And like I say to everybody who contacts me, as long as I can be 100% honest and the stuff that you're sending me is pertinent to my audience, which is the woodworking and making community, then I don't mind looking at your products. And uh, I said, I'm gonna be 100% truthful stuff. If I don't like it, I'm gonna let the guys know. If it doesn't work, I will also let them know. He said, no problem whatsoever. This stuff is really well made. You're not gonna find fault with it. So. That being what it is, they sent it on to me. I'm quite happy to take some tools for review and for to show you guys so long as that the information is relevant to you guys and I get to be 100% honest. And they had no problem with that. So like I said, Souter is a German company. They specialize in woodworking machines and tools blades, bits, all that kind of stuff. So routing, all that kind of stuff. That's what they do. And like I said, they've set up a new English language site. I link to all these tools and our new site below. If you want to go check them out, give them a look, see what you think. They have some very, very impressive tools. They have their own brand stuff with their name on it. Their MFT table, I think some of you guys might have even seen that already. It has a couple of YouTube videos about it. It is a, it's a pretty special MFT table. And their router, their FM1000 router. This is actually made by Mafel and it's a complete a toolless router which is very impressive solid block here so this is a big lump of metal it's ideal for a, like a cnc router machine or for router tables just literally pull the handle up pull the bit out now it's designed to work with eight mil collets or eight mil uh, router shafts you get an adapter so this is this is your uh, chuck and you can put any size collet you want in that chuck then to take any imperial or any metric size bits down to the really small like milling bits it'll take but it works with the eight mil shaft so any eight mil router bit you just stick that in there and lock it down and away you go no tools required which is fairly impressive that would be ideal for a cnc machine for quick tool changes or even if you're doing a couple of uh, different style router bits on your router table there's no tools required so you've no spanners going down into the workbench so I'll do a full review on these tools in an upcoming video. I'm going to want to put them through their paces first. I just want to give you guys a quick look at them because this is what I'm going to be fitting to the router table today. So let's jump in and do it. Okay, so my first order of business is to get my old Triton router off this table. And if you remember from the video, I used the Triton um, fence that comes with it as a mounting plate. So I screwed that to the bottom of my router table and that's how I mount my Triton router with its uh, quick mount system. So there we go, nice and easy, get that off. So now we need to pull the plate off. Just like that. 
nice and easy. Now I might have to put a piece in here, so I have to leave this piece out in order to get the, the height from my router. So I might have to put an infill piece in here, but we look, it should be pretty straightforward to fit this other one anyway, so let's do it. Right, so this is what we're going to be fitting to the router table. This is the router, uh, or the Souter Router Lift Mini, it's called. Again, made in Germany. It's really nicely made. I have to say it's beautifully engineered. It's a, a real premium piece of kit. Solid aluminum, nice blue anodized top. You can see the adjustment on it here with its lock. So it's just a case of the Allen wrench. You unlock it and then each one of these uh, markations is just a millimeter adjustment. So you can roughly gauge how high you are uh, adjusting your router. It's made with a base then, it fits multiple routers. So you can see all the pattern holes at the back. So it probably will fit a router, but just check on the website. It gives a full list of the routers that are, um, this is suited to. So make sure that your router is suited to it before you buy it. See a nice big heavy duty screw here for lifting and raising and lowering the platform. So yeah, it is really well made. I have to say it's beautifully engineered. It's a serious bit of kit. It's a premium product. And the inserts then are, it's magnetic, so you just pop them in. You get all the different sizes. So for any size router bit, down to your really small kind of milling bits, you have all the different uh, size plates. So here we go again, like I said, I'll do a full review once I put this through its paces, see what I like and what I don't like about it. But from first impressions, it is extremely well made. It's beautifully engineered. And uh, yeah, I say the Souter products are pretty good from what I've seen so far. So this is what we need to do. We need to fit this into this. So we're gonna to have to route it in. We're gonna to have to cut out a hole to take the mechanism. And then we're gonna to have to route in the face plate is gonna to have to sit into this flush with the top. Now, luckily enough, this particular hole is a similar diameter to the hole that I already have. So I can actually just match this up. That gets me right center where I need to be. And now I just need to measure from the edge in and from the edge in to make sure that we're right and then we can draw around this. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm centered to where I need to be. Now I just need to make sure that I exactly line this up. Okay, that's exactly where I need to be. So there we go, that's our cutter that we need to route out. So now I need to mark in the distance to the edge, so I have to fit the mechanism down to the table. So we've got to mark in this edge, draw that all around, and then cut that out. So let's do that. So this is exactly 21 millimeters. So I want to be 21 millimeters in from my line all the way around. So there we go, that's one of our cutouts. So I need to cut out this section to take our mechanism, and then I need to route this section so that our plate can sit down into our table. So let's do that. Let's get this cut out first. Then we can make a jig around this, a template that we can sit the router on, route this out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty simple and straightforward. Let's do it. Okay, first thing to do is just get some holes drilled for the jigsaw. Jigsaw this out. Okay guys, I have the whole cut out. So I went and took some pieces of plywood then. I ran them over the giant or the planer to put perfectly straight edges on them, cut them all to size. So with the um, router lift actually sitting into the table now, I made my template by making sure that all these are exactly up to the edge of my router lift and that my router lift is exactly where I want it. So I have to build my frame using the router lift. Screwed everything together so it's all held together now. So when I pop this out, it should just lift up out of it. Now I have to just recess this area in here. And I've also made a little insert piece to sit in here because when I'm routing this side, the router is not going to be supported. So this is to support the router because the hole is pretty big. And even though I have the say the fence on the end of the router for a little bit more support, it's not going to be long enough on one side. So this will give it support to make sure that the router is not tilting. So it's just a little insert piece to help with the routing. So we need to get this routed out now to the depth of this plate. Let's do it. So here's a little tip when you're setting your depth stop. If you have this turret style router and your depth stop drops onto it, just take the thing that you want the depth to measure the depth of 
set it on top of your stop, drop your router stop onto it, your dip stop, and there you have the perfect thickness for what you need to do. So nice and easy, just like that, with the perfect gap there now, which is exactly the width or the depth of our top. So now we can start routing, let's get on it. Right guys, there we go. All fit in, nice and simple. Um, not too much to it, we'll just build a nice template and take our time. I have a little, tiny bit of a gap on this side, but nothing that's gonna affect the table. Now, we're gonna bolt it down. So it comes with the fixings to fix it down, and it also comes with um, eight little grub screws. So you can see you have four main fixing points, and then we have grub screws, either side of those main fixing points. That's for adjusting this plate, so if you don't route it, 100% correctly, you've a good bit of adjustment on this, so you can adjust every single corner. You've two adjustments per corner to get this thing perfectly flush with your top. So, I've just four holes to drill here now. We get them in, we bolt this down, we get our grub screws in, and we get this flush. It's just a tiny bit below the surface, which is kind of where you want to be. That'll give you a little bit of adjustment over time then, so that it's perfectly flush. So let's do it. Okay guys, so fixing it down is fairly simple. It's just uh, six mil bolts, um, some nylon lock nuts and some washers to go underneath. And then the grub screws go down into the holes like this. So you see here, I have a little bit of a lip here. So it's only a case of a fine adjustment until I can bring that up. Until I can't feel anything else. There we go. And that's pretty good. Do the same on this side. This one is good. So there we are, we're perfectly flush all around now. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tighten these down. Okay guys, there we go. It is fully installed. That was nice, quick and easy. Again, just take your time, get your nice straight edges, build a template, use the actual lift itself to build the template, route it out, pop it in and there you go. I have it fully adjusted now so it's perfectly flush all the way around with the timber. I didn't cinch down the bolts, so the more you tighten those bolts, the more you're gonna compress it into the wood. This is a wooden top and most of them um, router tables you get might have like something like an MDF top with some melamine on it or something like that. So you don't want to compress it down into the wood. Just tighten it down enough and let the grub screws do the work then to get it perfectly flush. It's really, really easy adjust. I really like it. They're very well, well built, I have to say. I'm impressed so far. The build quality is excellent on it. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's in now. So let's look at the router. Right guys, this is the router in question. I just want to give you a quick close-up of it, show you it in action. I'm, again, I'll do a full review on these tools after I put them through their paces for a few months. But this is just my initial impression, i just give you guys a look at it. So you can see Souter Shop, and it's uh, the FM1000 DFL, and it's made by Maffel. Now Maffel make really high-end woodworking tools. They're a German company, and they make uh, some of the best woodworking tools out there. So this is pretty well made, I have to say, and well put together. This is a solid block of metal on the top, and uh, you can see you have mounting points on it here. So you can mount it this way. So if you're putting it into a CNC machine, that's how you'd mount it. And then you have mounting points here. This is for our router lift. This is how it's gonna go into our router table. And here is this quick release chuck. So this is the party piece of this tool. So again, eight mil shaft, lift up the handle, pop it in, 
lock it down. Now that's in there solid. So if you use eight mil router bits, they'll all fit into this. You have a quick lease mechanism. If you don't have eight mil, it's not a problem. You just get the chuck, take the top off the chuck, and you can put any size collar that you want in there. Half inch, quarter inch, six mil, eight mil, all the way down to the really fine stuff like this one for milling bits, for really small milling bits. This one is a eighth of an inch. So they have all the metric and all the imperial stuff. And like I say, it's quick change, pop it in, lock it down and it's in. So that's pretty cool. One of the worst things about routers is using the spanners to get the bits off. And uh, if you're doing a lot of bit changes, so definitely for CNC machines, for quick uh, change, this stuff is uh, pretty impressive. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be reaching down into my router table now trying to take bits out, which is gonna be nice. So let's get this onto the uh, router table. Okay, so mounting the router, couldn't be simpler. There's four screw holes perfectly lining up. Nice and easy. Just four Allen bolts, thread them down, tighten it home. Right guys, there we go, the router is installed. That took all of five minutes max. Nice and easy to get in. And uh, very easy now, tool changes. Tool in, lock it down, which is pretty nice. Now, it came with a Continental plug on it, but it is 230 volts, so no issues there. So uh, I just gotta change it now to the UK and Ireland plug. So uh, it's a good job. I happen to know an electrician, very handy. So I'll get on and do this, and we'll uh, give you a little demonstration when it's all up and running. Now, I have ordered, or I had ordered an NVR switch for this, so with an emergency stop, that's gonna fit right here. I thought it would be here today for the making of this video. It's not, it's gonna be a couple of more days, but you will see me in a workshop update video, you'll see this on, and you'll get to see this whenever I'm using it anyway, in future projects, you'll get to see it. So there is gonna be an NVR switch for an emergency stop fitted right there, just in case you guys are wondering, and uh, yeah. So that should be here in a couple of days. Right guys, there we go, one fully upgraded uh, router table. So now it's turning into a bit more of a premium router table, but still a nice cost-effective way to build yourself a router table if you're interested in building one. And if you're interested in these Souter products, um, I'll leave links to all this stuff below. Again, I'm gonna be checking these out now over the next couple of months. I'm gonna put them through their paces. You guys will get to see me use these now in multiple upcoming projects. But uh, so far, my first impressions are very, very good. Again, it's a premium product and it feels like it. Um, the engineering on it is flawless as far as I can see. The tolerances on it seem absolutely excellent. The adjustment on it is uh, very fluid. Would, that screw is very very nice so each one of these marks here is a uh, almost equal to one millimeter each turn like so you can be very very precise with it again i haven't had much chance to use this now it's literally just installed it in the table so i can't tell you how good it is to use but from first impressions it seems pretty good if the lock underneath here just tighten that down that locks the mechanism so the screw is now locked so it can't actually go up or down so with vibration like that it won't rise or lower itself so nice and simple. Again, this router is uh, the party piece is pretty impressive. Just catch the handle, pull it up, and remove your bit. Um, that's really handy. I mean, it doesn't get any handier than that, really. So I can see people, especially in the CNC world, would really like that. If you have multiple cuts to make with multiple different style bits, depending on what pattern you're cutting out on the CNC machine, that literally takes seconds to change a bit, and then the machine is off again. And uh, even with router bits like this, like I say, it's quick and easy to change, that's nice. Um, I'll give you a quick look at the router down below. Okay, so here we are down underneath the table, everything is nice and neat and fits nice and handy. Uh, the router switch here, I actually quite like, so I've just tried this out. Um, it's really nice and easy to use. It actually is a safety switch in itself, so once you click this on, it locks, and all you have to do is just tap it, and it switches off. I'll show you that now. <laughs> So it is a nice easy stop to hit, but like I say, I will be fitting an NVR switch over here. So it'll be a big red emergency stop button and this router will plug into that and then that will have a start stop on it and you can hit the big red button just for safety. And it's a nice little option to uh, add to the router bench as well to upgrade it. And it's not very expensive for an NVR switch. So that switch is nice and easy. Just like that, to switch it off. And one last thing I should point out, it does come with a guard so the actual Router lift comes with a guard that you can fit here. 
or to the side. Now I have two big wings either side on this table, so I don't need to fit this. And if I was to put it in front, it wouldn't work with this handle anyway. So it's meant to go either side to stop stuff getting kicked out the side. But uh, like I say, I have two big wings on my table, so it's kind of surplus to a requirement. So that's, that does come with the router lift, just in case you guys are wondering. So there we go. Okay guys, there we go, router table upgraded. And I'm really looking forward to now putting those tools through their paces. Like I said, they are a premium product and they feel like it, they're really nicely made. That's my first impressions. And again, full disclosure, like at the start of the video, I did not buy those, pay for those tools myself. They were sent to me by Souter. And uh, like I say to everybody who wants to send me tools, so long as it relates to my audience and I get to be 100% honest about the tools, then by all means, send me the tools because I can get the information to you guys. I can test them out. It gives me content for my videos and it gives you guys some good information. So if that happens, I will let you know. If it breaks, I will let you know. If it doesn't work, I will also let you know. And the guys at Souter, like I was speaking to Andy there, he was very nice and he said, yeah, you get to be 100% honest about anything we send you and that's good enough for me so there we go guys let me know what you think let me know what you think about that router i really like that quick release chuck i think it's a bit of a game changer especially for anybody in the cnc and the things they will really like that and the lift is a nice upgrade to that router table so if you were to build yourself that router table now and put that lift in it still wouldn't cost you too much it's literally a sheet of plywood with a router lift in it and uh, if you have an existing router you could fit it to that and it's nice and easy you just saw how i did it there so it's kind of a part two now to my router so if you like the guys give it a thumbs up again comments and questions below let me know what you think and if you're new here think about subscribing i'm going to get out of here now because it's time for dinner and i'm hungry I'll see you in the next one guys take it easy